Hello viewers, I am Dr. Ritu, Infertility Specialist at Indra IVF Delhi Patel Nagar branch. Today we are going to talk about TESI. So what is TESI? TESI or testicular sperm extraction is a technique wherein sperms are taken out directly from the testicles. Now where is it done? In the sense, which cases are suitable for doing a TESI? So it is a procedure done in patients of non-obstructive azoospermia. So what is azoospermia? As we all know, male infertility contributes in around 30 to 40 percent cases of infertility, most of which are diagnosed with the help of an abnormal semen report. Azoospermia is one such abnormality, which is seen in around 1 percent of general population and around 15 percent of infertile population. In azoospermia, the semen analysis report will come as nil sperm count in the ejaculate sample. We need two such reports to confirm the diagnosis. So once we know patient has azoospermia, we need to differentiate whether it is obstructive or non-obstructive, which again can be done with the help of a local examination and a simple test like FSH, that is follicular stimulating harbor. An FSH level of more than 7.6 is indicative of non-obstructive azoospermia. The other hormonal profile which is done to complete the diagnosis is luteinizing hormone, estradiol, prolactin and testosterone. So once we know patient has NOA or non-obstructive azoospermia, we need to differentiate whether it is of the central type that is because of the hormonal imbalance or is it of the testicular type when the problem lies at the level of testis. Testing is useful in cases which have testicular type of non-obstructive azoospermia. Genetic testing is also mandatory for these patients. We do a karyotyping to rule out any chromosomal numerical abnormalities like planifelters and we do a Y chromosome microdeletion. In Y chromosome microdeletion, we look for deletion in azoospermia factor A, B and C. Patients who have AZFC microdeletion will usually have sperms or you can say we'll have focal area of spermatogenesis on TESI and we'll be able to retrieve sperms in these patients. But patients with AZF A and B actually should not be offered TESI because we might not be able to retrieve any sperms in such patients. So once we have confirmed and diagnosed that patients have testicular type of non-obstructive azoospermia, and genetic testing has been done, they can be offered TESI. Now, how is TESI done? It is a daycare procedure done in operation theater, but it can be done either in local or general anesthesia. A small incision is given on the scrotum, tunica is identified, testicular tissue is extracted, a small bit is sent over to the lab for analysis, and the incision site is closed with a non-absorbable suture. Now, what should the patient expect after TESI? He can have mild pain and tenderness. Patient is given a course of antibiotics and a painkiller for around five days. They're advised to wear a scrotal support. But in case patient develops severe pain or swelling in the scrotum, they should report back to the doctor. A latest technique called as micro TESI is going to replace conventional TESI soon. It was invented in around 1999 where an operating microscope is used to identify and select the best seminiferous tubules which can supposed to have sperms. It is a technique wherein we need to do a lot of dissection but only a small amount of tissue is dissected, is extracted for sperm retrieval and is a little more expensive than conventional TESI. So all I can say is this TESI is a technique wherein an infertile couple in which male partner has non-obstructive azoospermia, especially of the testicular type, can father a child without the help of adoption and donor semen. If you have any queries about TESI, you can contact us on the number flashing below. Thank you.